I have met them. At close of day, coming with vivid faces from counter or desk among grey 18th century houses. I've passed with a nod of the head or polite meaningless words or have lingered a while and said polite meaningless words or have thought before I had done of a mocking tale or a jibe to please a companion round the fire at the club being certain that they and I but lived where motley is worn. All changed. Changed utterly. A terrible beauty is born. That woman's days were spent in ignorant goodwill. Her nights in argument till her voice grew shrill. What voice more sweet than hers when young and beautiful she rode to harriers? This man had kept a school and rode our winged horse. This other, his helper and friend, was coming into the force. He might have won fame in the end. So gentle his nature seemed, so daring and sweet his thought. This other man I had deemed a drunken, vain, glorious lout. He had done most bitter wrong to some who are near my heart, yet I number him in the song. He too has resigned his part in the casual comedy. He too has been changed in his turn, transformed utterly. A terrible beauty is born. Hearts with one purpose alone through summer and winter seem enchanted to a stone to trouble the living stream. The horse that comes from the road, the rider, the birds that range from cloud to crumbling cloud, minute by minute they change. The shadow of cloud on a stream changes minute by minute. The horse hoof slides on the brim and the horse plashes within it. The long-legged moorhens dive and hens to moorcocks call. Minute by minute they live. The stones in the midst of all. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Oh, when may it suffice? That's heaven's part. Our part to murmur name upon name as a mother names her child when sleep at last has come on limbs that have run wild. What was it then, but nightfall? No, no, not night, but death. And was it needless death after all? For England can keep faith for all that is done and said. We know their dream, enough to know they dreamed and are dead. And what if excess of love bewildered them till they died? I write it out in verse. Macdonough and Macbride and Connolly, and Pierce, now and in time to be, wherever green is worn, are changed, changed utterly. A terrible beauty is born. <laughs>